So let's go over the layered animation technique. Here I have a cube that I'm going to have jump over this gap. Uh, you'll want to have it look something like a bouncing ball. Um, I've animated it and it does a little bit of an anticipation. Jump over and kind of like settles. Um, it's a little bit floaty, but uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and just keep on moving on. Okay, so once you have that all set, we're going to bring in the rig and uh, raise this cube up to where his cog is. And to do that, um, you can use Animbot or just go into Graph Editor and drag up your, you know, your Translate Y. So with this Animbot tool here, I can do something like that. And then um, all you need to do is uh, select the cube and then select the cog. And of course, you just want to hit constrain. Okay. Um, put everything into FK. And now you'll see the character jumping along with the cube. So let's go ahead and hide the cube and layer on the legs. Okay, so I've layered on the legs. And you can see that here. We've done the cog, um, we've layered on the legs, next will be the spine. Okay, so now I've layered on the spine. Okay, let's see that one more time. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, do the neck and the head. Okay, so now that we've layered on the legs and the spine and the head, this is our final animation. And of course, if your character has arms, you'll want to go ahead and, uh, you know, block in and animate the shoulders, the arms, and, um, you know, get that uh, in as well. And you can do that uh, before the head or, you know, at last. It's totally up to you. I generally like to do that last.